Hello guys and welcome back to Culture Trading Hub. It is yet another exciting episode and today we are basically discussing the new platform that Deriv has introduced. You remember you had this and um, they have updated the system and especially on mo- mobile devices to produce now this. So this one is quite complicated that I want to take you through how you can basically be able to use it. So before you continue, make sure you subscribe because why are you watching? Why are you watching and you haven't subscribed by the way? Just support me by subscribing, just one ticking like this and then we are at 10k subscribers because why are we not at 10k subscribers right now? Because of you. So just subscribe then we continue. Let me not. If you subscribe all of you, I, I won't be telling every, everyone uh, to subscribe every time I get uh, to create a new video. So just subscribe and then you'll be good. Future updates Zote will be receiving them without much problem. As soon as I upload, you are up to date. Because if you are not up to date with these markets, then you might end up finding yourself in the wrong side of the market. Anyway, um, let's put that aside and then let us dive straight into this. So let us see how we can be able to maneuver this new platform. So uh, that has been designed by Deriv. So now what you're going to do is uh, if you are in Deriv Trader, this is the new platform. You can see on top there is where we have the assets. Starts with mostly you will find it with on accumulators. So if, uh, for example, you're trading accumulators, you just come and set everything: the growth rate, the stake, even the take profit. You can set, you can say like 15. And then um, you okay, you save. So you have the chart here. You can also see that below here we have. Uh, uh, the settings on top there so the next thing that you are doing now is basically getting in on that market so assuming you want you, you want to say it's going to go higher uh, it's go, uh, like it's going to make profit so you wait so um, as you can see the contract should have ended by now so uh, I closed the contract because I had set the take profit to five uh, to fifteen. Oh, I had set the take profit to fifteen USD. So I wanted to make it five, but anyway. So now, assuming you want to change to the big digits market, we have vanillas. I haven't uh, really. This is a new asset that they have introduced. We have talbos. Don't trade really talbos. We have multipliers. We have rise and fall. So, rise and fall, when it comes to rise and fall, you can change and put in the candlesticks as usual. Uh, you can change and put in the candlesticks. So, you can also set the duration there. You can set the stick there. So, and assuming you're seeing that this candle is going to fall, then you execute the fall trade. So, after... Uh, the trade is done it's going to in- inform you again if you come now to the positions you can look at the closed position again if you have like let's say a trade that is running uh, let's say you have created a uh, traded fall so you can see on the positions we have this trade that is open so like that so you can be able to monitor your trades that are running at the open position or at the closed position so now the next thing is the higher and lower if trade touch or no touch matches and differs now it brings this new so we don't have the tick pointer now here is where, here is where the deal is you see the number that is moving the last digit on that price at of volatility 100 one second index is the pointer now so if it is five it means that pointer is like the last digit is what is gives you these numbers and these percentages how much it has appeared so now like for example uh, the green uh, zone uh, the green um, percentage digit 7 that has been highlighted with green so that shows you that now that is the green bar so if you are trading with the green bar then you're going to use digit 7 so right now i can see the the red uh, the, the, the lowest percentage is digit 0 which is 8.6 percent so i can say i want to differ with digit zero so uh, assuming you wanted to differ with digit zero 
what you're going to do is that now you're going to select it so you click on it to select it it's now highlighted in black and that means that is now the digit you're dealing with it's either the digit you're differing with or matching with so um, i can say immediate zero appears on my my uh, on my price there on top then i can trade differs zero has appeared differs it has gotten to digit nine so again i can wait for zero again to appear on the price three nine nine again two zero differs again from zero you can see it has gotten to digit two so you can see also the price is here the last digit on the price is what we call the tick so it's like one second in that price so that digit is basically what we are uh, we are basically dealing with you can see eight two that is the tick so it means right now it has gotten to zero to four to three so assuming you are trading like over one and you want either zero or one to appear in this case the red bar is digit zero because it has the lowest percentage and you can see it is highlighted in red and then the highest percentage is digit seven which will make it now our green bar so we can wait one has uh, been hit apparently i'm trading matches and differs so i want to change the market to either if you want to trade even odd even not right now it doesn't have numbers so too bad for even odd people you will have to look for uh, the price here and then you you are going to probably think about it and then just execute i always say that even odd is mostly gambling. so if it is over under and you basically for even odd the edge is 50 50 you can win 50 percent of the time lose 50 percent of the time and in that case the house will always have an edge over you so um, in this case assuming you want to trade over one i can see the red bar is at digit five and the um, uh, green bar is at digit seven you can see if i change or i click at digit eight it is now telling me that i'm trading over eight which is giving me a payout of 89 all under eight which is giving me a payout of 12. so i can also change the stake here with the stake that i want then i'll click on save i can change the duration and then also save what else uh, you can also access the same settings here then after everything is set probably we are um, we are trading under eight then we can say that when the market hits eight i trade under um, so you can see it has gotten under again i wait for again for it to appear on top here on the price so it means that's the uh, the entry if it gets it appears eight has appeared i trade under again and then you can see it has gone under again so i wait for again for eight to appear i wait for it to appear zero nine four nine nine eight trade under again so right now you should uh, consider trading with two ticks because the way these uh, digits are moving they are moving quite fast so it is important for you to try and consider trading with two ticks because trading with one tick it might uh, end up messing you up quite big time so this is basically how you interact with this platform uh, the new platform is not that bad but it is uh, kind of confusing if you're starting out on it you can see the last digit that is appearing on the price is what we are being given here as the tick so six you can see even on the price five seven two six six one so it is the one that just has just been repeated there so in this case if i'm trading under eight and probably i'm getting in on eight then i wait for it to appear and then i can trade under uh, nine eight has appeared now under it has gotten to it again so I execute the trade again and yeah so still you can be able to monitor uh, the trades that you have taken through here and you can see basically the closed trades the open trades if you have any trades that are running and that is basically it it is not that complicated that as it seems yeah. just know that now the digit that you click is the one that you're trading with 
So if you click on one or two, it means you are trading either over two or under two. If you are clicking or trading clicking seven means you are trading over seven or under seven. You can see even the payout changes accordingly. So like for example, um, when one appears, um, uh, it is hard now, right now to do analysis a, a little bit because the numbers are moving quite fast. Guess the river mekua wajanja kidogo. You know they always come up with ways to make you not make money. So if you see it is quite hard then you can still rewrite on the boat. And uh, if you really love yourself try doing forex trading. Eh? Try doing forex. Forex is better. It's better. You won't get some of these uh, funny funny uh, changes every time on the market. Because they will always, the river will always change these markets to make sure that you lose money. That is the bitter truth about it. So um, I think this is it. Let me try to, to trade under again, uh, under seven. Oh, yeah. It's gotten to under seven. You can see. Um, yeah. If you're trading this, uh, just make sure you use two ticks, a minimum of two ticks at least, so that you can be able to execute and then. The trade is going to run to your direction. Uh, otherwise, the, the desktop site is still the same. So I don't know if I tried to open uh, it as a desktop site, what would happen. And yeah, very nice. So guys, you can see, you can still make your site a desktop site. And you will have the, the tick pointer. You will have the tick pointer, but it has been squeezed quite a lot. I'm trying to zoom in. Oh yeah, I'm trying to zoom in. You can, so you can see. So still you can try to uh, do this. You can see the tick pointer on the de desktop site is still available. So those people who are using PCs are still able to trade. All e you can also change your website to desktop site. Then it will give you the tick pointer back before probably they get rid of it again and we don't have anything else to rely on so anyway before that happens i believe still someone you can do that you can see we have the over under so you can still click on under seven and you still execute the trade for you so you still execute the trade so you can still use this if you see that that probably you will uh, you are uh, basically having issues with uh, the main platform, the other platform. So you can use this hack. Uh, 